game number three. You look at this particular contest, Boston won 106 to 93. You look at this particular contest, Boston, close game early, but in that third quarter, Boston won a 14 0 run that kind of put them in complete control. They had a nine point halftime lead, and again, a 14 0 run to start the third and then took complete control. Cleveland did cut it to nine in the fourth, but it didn't matter. The Boston Celtics got the job done. You look at this particular game. Adam Mitchell was big time again, put up big time numbers for Cleveland. He was special, 33 big points for Donovan Mitchell on the night, seven for 12 from downtown. So he did his job. But Darius Garland is a guy they gotta get more from. Garland had 15 points tonight, six for 15 from this field, one for six from downtown. Darius Garland has to give these guys a little bit more if they wanna beat the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics came out like a championship caliber team is supposed to come out and dominate this game and get game three. This is a big game three and they had to get it, and they got it. And we'll see what goes in the, on next in game number four. Obviously, those minutes when Donovan Mitchell is not there, Cleveland has to be better. They had to be better when Mitchell was on the bench. He, he came to play tonight. He did his job. The others have to step up for the Cavaliers if they want to win this series. They got to be better. Still no Jared Allen, and, and at this point, you wonder if there ever is going to be a Jared Allen. He was questionable for tonight. You wonder if he's ever going to come back in this series but hey this series is there for the cleveland cavaliers to take they can win this series but they got to be better and they got to be better in game four if they lose game four this series is over so game four is a must win for the cleveland cavaliers and they must find a way to muster up enough energy and somebody has to step up other than donovan mitchell we'll see what happens game four monday night